Hi guys, Jangro here. Welcome to this first look at all the Mod 7 to the sky. The purpose of this video is an introduction and a quick start guide. I want to help you decide if this is a great pack for you. In a pack like this, since there's not really any exploration, we have to basically produce all of the blocks ourselves. So automation is important and my favorite thing to do in Minecraft, along with making different mods work together. And there are so many great mods in this pack. I'm pretty excited about it. We're going to do everything we can to get through the beginning grind as quickly as possible. We've got some tips and tricks to share to help speed things up. So stick around. So here we are in our little skyblock island. We get a farm as a starting point with some already farmed farmland and pretty good space. There are other options to start with. If you set up teams, and this is especially pertinent if you're playing with others, if you hit the L key, you can create a new team and specify the template you want for your island. So this isn't the only template to use. So there's just a tree, cobble gen, chest on this one. So there's those four options and you create a game, a team, create it. You can invite others in to play with you or other players can join your server and create their own team and you all start on your own island spread around the map. It's pretty cool. The first thing we're going to want to look at here is the quest book, which you can reach by going into your inventory and clicking this quest button up here. Here's the first quest and we've accomplished it, which is visit the overworld. So we get our rewards, which is a quest book and some XP. Close that out. And over here, it's tough to see, but this opens up and you can see all of the different quests in this mod pack. We're going to focus on getting started. So we're not going to go strictly through everyone in here. We're going to quickly go through this and we're going to end up accomplishing almost all of these by the time we get through this video. But we're going to want to start here. There's a head start. You can get these things if you click this check mark. I'm not going to click that. And here is some emergency saplings. If you happen to get no saplings from your first tree, you can use this to get them. So that's kind of an emergency backup system. But we do want to click on this getting started task because we cannot progress in any of these other tasks because they're gated and we need to accomplish that first. So we got to take the stake and then the first task is going to be getting some logs and we're going to progress from there. So let's clear up this space a little bit. First thing I want to talk about is that there is shaped mining, vein mining in this pack. If you hold down, the, I think it's called a grave key, which is this back tick below the escape key. You can see a highlight of what it's going to break. And if you just break that thing, you get everything. Let's plant these seeds. We've got eggplant. We've got wheat, spinach, onion, demon's dream. We got a lot of those. We'll just plant everything we've got. We also got some flowers. Oh, we got industrial hemp and tomato seeds as well. Let's, let's get rid of the demon's dream and plant the tomato and hemp. The hemp will come in useful for immersive engineering later. All right. Now we'll Instead of breaking the whole tree, let's just get a couple of logs here. And we'll make a crafting table. Put it right here in the middle and we'll make some sticks. We want to make a crook. This is in the guidebook, but a wooden crook is a leaf breaker. So if we break leaves with a crook, we're more likely to get drops. Let's stand over here so we catch everything and hold down this vein mining button. And we can break them all at once. We got 12 oak saplings and oh, silkworms and some apples. Cool. And we can break the logs just by holding down the vein mining and breaking this first log with our hand. And we get them all. All right. Let's just plant some more saplings. Also in this pack and in most sky blocks, you need a way to get materials early on. We can just right click on the ground and we automatically get pebbles. And these pebbles, andesite, basalt, diorite, blackstone, granite, and stone go together in two by two and make that item. And if we stand back a little bit, we can, we can do this on this spot and just hold down, right click, and just get a whole bunch of pebbles. We're going to need a ton of stone pebbles to make cobblestone. And then when we're done, we can just go pick them all up. There's a trick to do this faster. If we remap the key binds for the place block right button to a key on your keyboard, I'm going to do comma and you hold down the comma key. It goes much faster. Apparently the repeat on a key is much faster than the repeat on a right click. So we can just 
sit here for a couple minutes and get as much of these pebbles as possible. That is a lot of pebbles. I'm going to remap the key back again because I cannot work without the right click. So now that we've got all these pebbles, we need to put them into their respective block. And we can do that by holding down the K key on each of these items. The K key is auto compacting. We can go through here and compact all our pebbles. We've just got a few left here. We can also compact these stones. So if we compact the diorite, basalt, granite, black stone, I'm hitting the K key on each one. It doesn't actually save much space right now because we don't have multiple stacks of these things, but that's how that works. Let's make a nut chest. Dump these things in. Just like that, we can get all sorts of ores. We're going to need primarily cobblestone. Because that is so tedious, getting cobblestone like that, and we're going to need cobblestone to progress quickly in this mod pack, we take a look in our book again. Our short-term goal is this cobblestone generator so we don't have to kick rocks to get pebbles. And as I stare at my quest book here, it seems to me that we've accomplished basically nothing. So let's knock off a few of these things. The first thing we need to do is to get some logs and planks. While we're doing this, this quest is called twerking nine to five. And that is because you can twerk in front of a tree. Just crouch and it's bone meals trees and you can grow them really fast. We need an ax. We've got some stone now, so we can splurge on a stone ax. Oh, those are cobblestone blocks. That was confusing for a second. We uncompress those. <laughs> there we go. There's a stone axe. And while we have these trees here as well, again, we're gonna skip around here to optimize instead of just knocking off the quests one at a time. If we put one of these silkworms we, we got earlier into these leaves, they will start to infest the entire tree. See that spreading around? Let's make a granite crook. We don't need this wooden crook anymore. And if we break these fully infested leaves with our crook, we get string and more, a lot more of these silkworms. And remember, we can hold down that accent key, get the whole thing. Same thing with these trees. Work on this one. Ouch, too close. This is plenty of string for what we need, so we'll just... Get these trees taken care of, get them out of the way. Back to the book, which I have mapped to a key. Okay, we need planks out of these logs. There we go, now we've got some quests completed. Working nine to five is completed. Picking rocks is completed. And hammering compressed items is completed. We need a hammer. Looks like this. Make a hammer out of stone. So we can hit a hammer on this compressed block and we get compressed gravel. And we put down a compressed gravel block and we get a compressed sand block. We put down a compressed sand block, break that with a hammer and we get nine dust. There's no compressed dust. So we just get nine blocks with that. All right, so now if we uncompress some of these blocks, We'll get these other quests because we need to hold the actual sand and dust and gravel. Hammer time done. Gravel done. Sand done. Dust done. Okay, there's two directions to go here. Ultimately, we need clay and this crucible to get the cobblestone generator. We also need to start sieving. How did I not get the crook? I threw it away. I need a wooden crook. There we go. We've got the crook task and we've got the string task. Next is sieves and clay. So let's take care of setting ourselves up for clay. We need to fill a barrel with water and right click with dust to get clay. And we don't have any water. And we're going to need buckets to put water in, which is why we need to get into sieves. But let's set ourselves up to maybe get some free water if it rains. We need barrels. 
these kinds of barrels here. So this oak barrel, we're gonna need slabs, and let's make let's make a couple of these barrels. Now I'll just tuck these over here. And if it rains, these will fill up with water, and we get water with zero effort. In preparation for the next bit, which is to make some meshes and sieves, I've expanded the base a little bit, and I have also got myself set up with wood and string and some gravel. We're gonna need a ton of gravel for the next phase. So let's make some string meshes, and we're gonna need ultimately nine of these. So let's go ahead and make nine or 10, oops. And we also need some sieves. And there are two types of sieves. This flux sieve is a powered sieve and it's pretty expensive. So we're just gonna make this oak one. And we'll also need nine of these. Let's see if I can stop at nine here. All right. Now sieve is really simple. You just put down the sieve and then a string mesh right on top of it. If we take a look at sieve in REI, we can see what they're basically resource producing items. So for example, if you put acacia leaves in one, you get an acacia sapling. Sand in a string mesh, you'll get cocoa beans. Dirt, you get a bunch of seeds. There's actually some conflicting recipes, and I think this is the one that works. Dust gives you bone meal. That's going to be important pretty soon. And gravel gives you flint. And as soon as we can get some flint, we're going to upgrade our string mesh to a flint mesh. And a flint mesh gives you more stuff than the string one. So for example, dust gives us bone meal and sky stone gets added to that recipe. And right here, gravel is the important one. It produces iron. Since it's so hard to get gravel right now until we get to the cobble generator, I'm going to do less sieves for now. And we'll just work in this first one sieve until we can upgrade it. And we just right click with whatever it is we want to sieve. We can sieve dirt, gravel, sand, dust. And this is going to give us some flint. We saw that gravel in a string sieve just gives flint. And when we get six of them, we can upgrade this string mesh to a flint mesh. What have we got? Five so far. And there we go. We've got six. Let's finish that one off. And if we shift right click with an empty hand, we can pull the mesh out of the sieve. Go over here, put the mesh in here. And an H pattern is how we upgrade it. And now we've got a flint mesh. Now the flint mesh is going to still give us flint, but it will get a higher chance. So we're, we're gonna produce more flint now. Plus we're getting other stuff like aluminum pieces, nickel pieces, and this is when we're going to start to get iron. There's four, there's six. We're gonna leave this one here and we're going to upgrade one of our other string meshes right here. And so now the cool thing about sieves is that you can create an array of them like this. Now we've got these two flint sieves here and we can operate on one of them that since they're connected, they'll, they'll all work. So we'll stand in the middle. So we pick everything up and as soon as we get six flints, we're going to, well, let's go for 12. It's going pretty fast. There we go. And we upgrade a couple more and so on. And our final three. So we're also getting iron pieces here, which we can turn into raw iron. Like that and we can start to smelt this. We're getting coal from this operation as well. So now we can get that iron cooking. And now we, we just need iron. Iron is important because we're going to need a couple of buckets. We're gonna need a bucket of lava and a bucket of water to make the cobblestone generator. But before we can get there, we're gonna to need to create water and some lava. So I'm gonna keep doing this until we get enough iron and we'll be right back. Okay, that didn't take me very long. I've got six iron ingots now which we created from the iron pieces that we turned into raw iron and now we can make two buckets which we need to make this crucible an unfired crucible comes from porcelain clay which comes from bone meal and clay balls these buckets we're going to need to make the cobble generator which has a lava bucket and a water bucket which we have neither of right now it hasn't rained yet so we don't have any water in here but there's another way to get water which is from a crucible a wooden crucible. So this oak crucible here, we can put this down right here. And if we fill it with saplings or leaves, it fills up and then it starts to melt it down. It will go faster. It might even be required that we have a heat source underneath it. And we can use a torch. We can use lava, a campfire. A campfire is actually our best early option right now. And I can make a campfire. 
So we're going to put the campfire right underneath it. This is going to be the same thing we do with this fired crucible as well. But that's going to be our next step is getting that after we get some water. So you can see this is cooking down faster now. And if we shift, we crouch and look at it, you can see the water that's being created. And so when that gets up to a thousand, we're going to have enough to grab a bucket of water. Okay, we're getting down to the very last bits and we're about to have a full bucket of water, which is one bucket. We just right click on here with the bucket and we can pull that out. Now we can put more saplings in there and, and continue that, but we're about to have all the water we need because we already had a water source over here. And if we just do this, we now have an infinite water supply. And we can put water in these now, which would have happened if it rained, but it did not. And now to make clay, we need to put a uh, right click with dust to get clay. The clay balls to make the porcelain or the fired crucible. Now we've got some gravel blocks here. We just need to turn some of this into sand. Let's save a little bit of sand because we also need a piece of glass. So let's get some glass going and we can turn the sand into dust with the hammer. There's no dust compressed blocks. So we got 45 out of that. And if we just come over to our sieves, we put dust in here and we should get bone meal. And we're going to, going to need eight of them or seven, actually. We have 14. Now we take some dust and put it in here. That is going to be enough for us, especially because this advancement right here gives us a couple more clay. But all we need is seven to make this. We need, we need clay balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we make the unfired crucible. And then we cook it in the furnace to get a fired crucible. Once we have that, let's, let's steal our spot from the oak crucible and put the fired crucible on top of that. And this is for making lava. So we just need to put some cobblestone in here, just like the leaves or saplings in the oak crucible. And this is going to burn down the same way. And we crouch and look at it and we can see, and we can see this is cooking down. While it's doing that, let's take a look in our book. We've got a new achievement here. Let's pick up our furnace and get that advancement. So you've got the furnace advancement, get some scrambled eggs for that. And the last two things over here are, is a furnace upgrade, but we need a bunch of iron for that, which we don't have yet. And we need to create power, which is a coal generator, machine frame, more iron. So these things are pretty easy, but we're just gonna have to grind a bit more. We're gonna upgrade our meshes in the process, get some more iron, get the starter power. This is important because this is a dependent of this power generation task, which is a dependent of getting started with, I think this one, the basic, basic power. So before we're gonna be able to continue on in getting started part two, we're gonna to need to finish those first few quests. But we have another one here, which I got when I made the building wand. Let me show you the building wand really quickly. Uh, we can expand our, our platform a little more with it but really quickly. It's just a nice, fast way of building. It also helps with creating these stacks of things that we need to break. So we put four of these here and then we hit that with the building wand. It creates eight of them. Likewise, since we have oak slab, we can expand our base. And this is how I did this before, just by clicking with this building wand. Very cool. Do we have lava yet? We're getting close. Okay, we have lava now. So we just right click on that to get our bucket of lava. We click on this to get our bucket of water and we can now make a cobble generator on a crafting table. That's completed. Cobble generator. Let's put that right here. So the way a cobble generator works, it's creating cobble right now. So we need a storage unit of sorts. We can use a chest, but if we put a chest in here, we get a one by one oak drawer from the functional storage mod. And if we just stick this right on top, this one by one drawer will hold 2K items, 2048 items. And you can see the cobble just rolling in here. So back in the book, we've got our cobble gen. And now we can upgrade this even farther. Tier two, tier three, tier four and five, which 
Okay, those, these are pretty expensive. Uh, we just don't need more cobblestone than this right now. This is all the cobble we're going to need for the time being. We have gone through pretty much all of the getting started. Again, taking a look in the book. All that's left here is the furnace upgrade and the starter power, which again, all we just need, we need some iron. And we're going to have to just continue to grind. I'll leave that as an exercise for you guys to figure out, but that is super easy. I'm pretty excited to get into some of these mods that are in here. Industrial foregoing, mechanism, thermal series, create. And that's just the stuff that's here in this quest book. There are so many other mods in this mod pack. It's just a massive mod pack with a ton of mods in it. So if you like tech mods, if you like magic, Batania is in here. And if you want to do some adventuring, you can do some full adventuring in the Twilight Dimension. So you can go in there when you're tired of the grind and you haven't yet automated, you can head on into the Twilight. As soon as you have a diamond, that's basically all you need to create that portal. So I think we're going to wrap it up here. Before we go, I just want to show you quickly how you can get your own free server on Sticky Piston Hosting, who's a sponsor of this channel. There's a link in the description that supports this channel. Next, I'll show you how you can get a free test server for this pack or sign up through all the mods hosting sponsor or your favorite mods sponsor. If it weren't for them, I'd have no videos. So please support somebody. I'd settle for a subscription. Okay, let's take a quick look at how you can get your own All the Mods 7 to the Sky server for free with no credit card on Sticky Piston. So this is trial.stickypiston.co. I'll put a link in the description. You just come here, search for ATM or whatever mod pack you want to install. Here it is over here. The only thing you need to do is check to make sure you've got the right version installed on your client. This happens quickly, so you don't want to install after you install the server because if you don't go in in a couple minutes, the server will terminate. So you got to be ready to join the server as soon as it's started. Start the server. And then it's going to ask you if you want to create a download. Uh, this allows you to grab the world. After you're done with the trial, you can install it locally. You can install it on another server, on another host, or you can start up a Sticky Piston server. And now it's starting up. You can see the server is doing its thing. And then when it says it's online, you just click the server address, copy it, paste it into your Minecraft client that you have running, and you're good to go. Share that IP with your friends, and you can all play on a free trial server for up to 24 hours as long as you stay logged in. Good deal. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you like the video, please like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.